All right, this is the video where I show you how to do uh, chi-square in R. So first off, we are going to need to know the exact location of the data file, so that CSV file, chi-square data for R and spss.csv. So in my Mac, I just go to Get Info. In Windows, I believe you'll click on the Properties tab, right-click and go to Properties. I Command C or Control C for those of you with Windows. And that way I have the entire path to the file copied into uh, my clipboard. And I open up R. And I'm going to open up that data file. So I'm going to create a variable called my data. I'm going to assign that data a read.csv, open parentheses open quotation marks and now I'm going to com command V in my Mac control C in your Windows that path name put a forward slash I'm going to go back over to this properties window and I'm going to copy and paste the file name as well alright now my data should contain the data. All right, you can see group on the left, clicked on the right. What we need to do now is create a table. So we're going to create another variable and we'll call it TBL. We're going to apply a function to that. We're going to create a table out of these data. And so we do my data dollar sign group, comma, my data dollar sign clicked hit enter now we have a table if I click table now you can see that contingency table we call this a contingency table and it's the same table that you saw earlier in the Excel file so right here should be the exact same numbers although they might be like tilted around a little bit and they are now we are ready to apply our function. So, uh, the, so R's version of chi-square is chisq and dot test. I'm going to open up a parentheses and uh, put the name of the table in there. Now R does a Yates correction for small data automatically, so we're not going to get the same value that we got before. But you can see, okay, it did this output here. Pearson's chi-square test with Yates continuity correction, and we got a p-value of 1. So Yates's correction for small data is to prevent getting significance or prevent getting really low p-values when you have small data. So our p-value shot up here. Uh, in any case, we can pretty much conclude that uh, we have no confidence that there is any sort of relationship between the row variable and the column variable. And so that's how you do a chi-square in R.